Yo, so what is up everybody on YouTube? We are back today with a brand new video and for today's video we are doing a new rebuilding challenge. We're going to be rebuilding the Utah Jazz. Obviously the Utah Jazz have a very, very bright future. They have a very sleeper team, honestly, with Donovan Mitchell, Rudy Gobert, Mike Conley, Bodanovich, Joe Ingles. They, they just really have a solid team. Like they could come out of nowhere and honestly maybe be like a top five team this year. Honestly, it wouldn't be the most... It would not be the most surprising thing. And also, just to go along with this, my bad for the lack of uploads recently. I have been having a lot of college work, and midterms kind of uh, were a lot for me. But before we hop into the video, please be sure to smash that like button. And definitely subscribe if you are new and like rebuilding videos, because that is a lot of what we do on this channel, along with what ifs and other NBA-related videos, always 2K My League stuff. So, uh, first of all, the first big move I want to make with this team is I do want to get Dante Exum out of here. I really don't like that two-year, $19.2 million contract. Really, whatever I can get for him, I would like to get him out of here. I can get a better backup point guard for a lot cheaper that can do the exact same thing Dante Exum could do. Obviously, coming out of uh, the draft, people thought Dante Exum was going to be an absolute beast. I thought he was actually going to be super good, to be honest with you as well. But at the end of the day, he he's uh, sadly a bust. Dante Exum, let's be let's be real. He is not what we hoped he would be. But it is okay. So we got him out of here. We're making some small changes. Just a little couple tweaks that could uh maybe help our team out. See what maybe we move Bodanovich to the power forward position and start Joe Ingles beside him. So we have Mike Conley, Donovan, Mitchell, Joe Ingles, Bojan Bodanovich, and then we have um Rudy Gobert at the five. So I think that's what we're gonna do for year one. Long term, I don't know if we're gonna be able to keep um, Bodanovich and Ingles together because I really don't want to have to play Bodanovich at the stretch four position for the long term but for this season we'll we'll go with it and see what happens and while we're at it I'm also going to send Tony Bradley to the G League because I do see some potential in him maybe to be even like a uh, maybe transition him to the four in the future and kind of see what's up with that but uh, we are going to sim through this so here we are starting the sim let's see how we end at the end of the season uh, at the end of the season, pretty much we have three years to try and win a championship with this team, including this year. So that's how these challenges work. Either we get a fail or we pass at the end. And right before we uh, get to the end of the season, make sure to smash that like button if you haven't. Comment down below who you want to see rebuilt next. And also uh, hit that subscribe button if you are new for your boy because it is going to help me out a ton on that big road to 1K. Uh, so, MVP first season goes to Giannis along with Zion Williamson getting Rookie of the Year. No real surprise there, but he has looked like a beast in the preseason so far. Brett Brown gets Coach of the Year. So, All-NBA first team, we obviously don't have anybody on it. I don't think we have any on the All-Second team. And unfortunately, we don't even have one on the All-NBA third team. Obviously, the All-NBA defensive team, we have Rudy Gobert because he is a clamp god at the center position. Uh, we did finish third. Oh, no, we did not finish third. I just capped my ass off. <laughs> we did, we did, I believe, get the seventh or eighth seed as the Jazz. Um, Donovan Mitchell, super solid, 29 points per game to go along with about four rebounds per game and about three assists per game. Super solid production from Donovan Mitchell, looking great. Mike Conley, 22.9 points per game and 7.9 assists per game, pretty solid. Rudy Gobert, about 12 and 13. I don't know. There's two people that I'm definitely looking to make kind of trades in this upcoming offseason if this doesn't work out. If we don't absolutely go ham right here, then um, Mike Conley and I believe Joe Ingles might be the guys really on the trade block. Uh, see what we can kind of get for them, what we can make to uh, improve the team going forward for next year. So um, let's see. So first round, our Jazz squad is up against the Lakers squad, obviously with LeBron and Anthony Davis in the first round. So can we knock them off? This is going to be a good test for this Jazz squad. Can we do it? The seventh seed Jazz up against the second seed Lakers. So we actually go up three to one. Can we do it? One more game is all we need. They get a game. Come on. Let's go. We knock them out. Six games. 29 points from Donovan Mitchell and 28 from Bodanovich to uh, kind of negate Anthony Davis' big 33-point game on us. So second round, we are unfortunately up against the Los Angeles Clippers, which, as we know, have been an absolute bomb squad this year. They made that they, they went out and got Paul George and Kawhi this offseason. Pat Bev, Lou Will, Harold, like, they just have a, they have a really good team. Shamit. So I would be surprised we win this game. I'm not going to lie to you guys. So they go up 3-2-0. And we get two games back, so at least we at least we made it a series. They beat us in six. We'll take it. Um, Mike Conley drops 28 points, but really nothing we could do. Finals, Sixers versus the Rockets, with the Sixers winning and Ben Simmons getting his first Finals and Finals MVP. So, uh, 
I, I think there's going to have to be some uh, things kind of tweaked about our team this year and kind of see what we could do to improve the squad. Um, I am looking to see what maybe we can get for um, Joe Ingles to move Bodanovich back down to the three because I'd like him there a little bit better. And I also kind of want to see what we can do with Mike Conley. As we know, Mike Conley is getting up there in age. He's still super solid. I'll take those picks for Joe Ingles. Sorry for all the Joe Ingles fans. I'm sure a lot of you guys all, that are Jazz fans really like Joe Ingles. It's nothing against him, but it's just what I would like to do in this situation. Um, so we're going to move Bodanovich back down to the three. And we're going to have to see what we can really get for Mike Conley. Obviously, I don't want players that old, really. If we have to keep them... That just like closes our window a little. So we're going to have to work around and see what we can really get. So Mike Conley, we can get Kyle Lowry, Jamal Murray, Vucevic, uh, Jamal Murray, and Will Barton. for. Oh, that's a two first and Mike Conley. Our first obviously aren't going to be very good. They're going to be late first. So I'm actually going to take this trade. I know a lot of you guys probably won't like that move. But here's the way I look at it. Jamal Murray's still very, well, still fairly young. He's still fairly young. And we also get a guy that is very solid off the bench. Will Barton can go out and get us some buckets. Um, Jamal Murray's obviously a slight downgrade right now for Mike Conley. But probably by next year, this rebuild, Jamal Murray will already be at a higher overall than Mike Conley will be because he starts regressing as Jamal Murray goes up and up. Obviously, the um, Nuggets gave him a big contract, and a lot of people might not really like that move. But that's what we're going to do for this rebuild. So we're going to be working with Jamal Murray uh, at R1. So kind of looking at the squad, we're trying to make this team the best that we really can. And I don't know if that's going to be it right there. I don't like Ed Davis starting at the four. We do have Jer uh, Jeremy Grant, which is definitely a solid um, four to have coming off the bench. But I'm not going to start Ed Davis long term. We're definitely going to figure out something, whether that be just putting Jeremy uh, Grant to our starter or see what we can really do. Let's see. Um, just kind of move some guys' positions around, see what really will happen. So Tony Bradley is now not in the G League. So hopefully um, we could do something to actually get him some playing time in this year. So it's looking like he is going to get some backup center position uh, minutes. So Jeremy Grant's probably going to start at our four. So I'm assuming it's going to be Jamal Murray, Donovan Mitchell, Will Barton, Jeremy Grant, and Robert. And uh, not Robert, my bad. <laughs> Rudy Gobert. But in that situation, Go um, Bojan Batanovic would be coming off the bench. So we can't be having that. So Will Barton's going to come off the bench. He is going to be our sixth man, most likely. And we are going to have Bojanovic starting at the three, as he probably should be. So, um, power rankings actually have us at 10, which is not necessarily where we want to be, but, um, we're going to have to see how the season plays out. I do like the depth that we added in guys like Will Barton and Jeremy, uh, Grant, but we did get rid of Joe Ingles over the offseason and we did get rid of Mike Conley, but I think Jamal Murray kind of negates it. Um, we're just going to have to see, honestly, maybe I made some dumb moves. If you guys thought, the, thought any of these moves that I made in this, uh, were kind of dumb, leave it down in the comment section. I'd love to see like your guys thoughts on this stuff. But I do like the um the more or less the depth that we brought in for this team. Jeremy Grant is a solid um, bench player, along with Will um, Barton. Um, so rookie of the year goes to Lamelo Ball. So that's kind of interesting. Twenty three point seven points per game. Um, Cole Anthony gets most improved player of the year. Mike D and Tony gets coach of the year. Um, let's see if we have anybody on any of the all NBA teams, all NBA first team. Of course we do not. We have Harden, Curry, Antetokounmpo, none of our guys on that list. The second team we do not, and even we do not on the third team. And we don't even have the all defensive first team with Gobert this time because Anthony Davis took his spot. So obviously I guess I did something right, huh? We went from the seventh seed team to the second seed team with 60 wins this season, which is a huge W. So, uh, we definitely did improve. Donovan Mitchell actually went down a little bit as far as his averages, but we do have um, Jamal Murray here who's doing really good. 24.4 points per game, 7 assists a game, 3 rebounds per game. I can't ask for much more from him. And then we have our bench guys averaging over 10 points a game with Will Barton and uh, Jeremy Grant who definitely added some great depth to our team. So, um, honestly, dude, I think that I guess my moves turned out pretty good. Shooting guards, obviously Don has been snapping 27 points per game last year, 29 points per game. So uh, our squad in the first round is up against a Nuggets squad that actually does have Mike Conley. So let's see if it's going to be a Mike Conley revenge series. As they now have Mike Conley and we now have Will Barton and Jamal Murray. So we start off the series 3-2-0, so it's looking good for us. 4-0, we actually end up sweeping them, which is definitely a good look for the brand. 
But once again, we are going to be up against the Clippers in the second round. Mike Conley dropped 25, but the Don drops 38 points to not allow them to get that game. So in the second round, we are once once again, unfortunately, up against the Clippers, which we definitely don't like. Hopefully, we can uh, beat them this year. It's going to be tough regardless. So 2-2, making it a good series. 3-2, they take it. So uh, we really need a win here. We can't get a four-star proficiency, only three and a half. So let's see, and we once again are eliminated in six games, which is definitely a bad look. Um, nothing we can really do there. Obviously, the Clippers are a super good team. And once again, it's a Rocket Sixers finals. The Sixers win again, but this time, Joel Embiid gets finals MVP. So going into the third season, this is what our team is looking like. And I could almost say that this was already a failed offseason because some things went seriously wrong. We could not bring back Rudy Gobert. He did not want to come back. And as the Jazz fans, I know you guys are definitely super angry about that. I couldn't bring him back. He, I offered him as much as I could, and he just did not want to sign back here. He was not interested. So if we ended up with Jamal Murray, we have Donovan Mitchell, we have Draymond Green, Hassan Whiteside, and Jeremy Grant. That's the best I could do with the given situation that we had. It definitely sucks a lot because Rudy Gobert is obviously a huge upgrade from Hassan Whiteside. Um, it's definitely just screwed us in the third year of this rebuild. I tried everything to get him to come back, and he just was not trying to have it. So, man, that sucks. This team this year would have been super good, too, especially adding Draymond to play um, that three or four position if we still had Rudy Gobert. So, Giannis gets MVP in the third season. D'Angelo Russell gets um, most improved player of the year. I mean, actually, sixth man of the year. My bad. And um, it's just a rough scene for us right now, honestly. I can't lie. Um, I don't think we had anybody on any of the all-NBA teams. Looking at playoffs, did we actually end up making playoffs? We did make playoffs, but it was definitely not the best seed. Um, Jamal Murray went crazy. Whoa. Did Jamal Murray have 26.4 points? That's not bad at all for Jamal Murray. Jamal Murray took our team as the leading scorer. So I guess that trade for Jamal Murray didn't really end up being a bad one for us. But... We could not keep Rudy Gobert, which was the tough part of it. So as the seventh seed, we are up against the Suns in the first round. It's very, it's looking very bleak. We're down three to one, and boom, they destroy us four to one. And I would have seen it going a completely different way if I was able to get Rudy Gobert back in the all season. Obviously, that should have been the number one priority, which I really tried to have it be. But uh, I guess I just fluffed up, guys. So it definitely was a failed rebuilding challenge. I think that I made some good moves for the team. But obviously not getting Rudy Gobert back was the Achilles heel of this whole rebuild. So uh, Grizzlies versus the Celtics in the finals. Let's see who actually wins. So it looks like the Grizzlies are going to win 4-1. to one. If you enjoyed the video, please definitely leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Peace. I'll talk to you.